So here we have a abstract of all the figures. We have figure number one is degree equals to zero. That is no load condition. Then we have a straight line indicating the positive slope at degree equal to one. Then third figure is a slope equal to negative. The fourth figure represents the second order parabola with the positive slope decreasing. In the second row, the first figure indicates the second order parabola with the positive slope increasing and fifth and last figure represent the negative slope and the fifth one represent the increasing slope and the sixth represent decreasing slope. So once upon we have an idea of all these figures which has the positive slope and negative slope. The next job is to calculate the area under the curve. To find out the area under the curve we will make a generalized equation here that is A equals to 1 upon n plus 1 where n is degree multiplied by breadth multiplied by h. Idea is that every figure we will enclose in the rectangle and we will find out the area of that particular figure. Because delta v and delta m both are basically area under the load diagram and area under the shear force diagram. So first of all when degree equal to n equal to 0 so we are rectangle and degree equal to 1 so we are familiar with this formula it is a bh area because n equal to 0 so it is a 1 upon 0 plus 1 is same as bh. This formula also works fine for triangle. So if we are interested in the area under the straight line which is form equal to triangle. So just close that triangle in a rectangle they will get divided by 2. So this time degree is 1. So answer is that is familiar to you is 1 upon n plus 1 that is bh by 2. But uh, we are not for these two figures basically we are interested for parabola of second order. Now if you want to find out the area under this curve which has a degree equal to 2 first of all you close this in a rectangle which is the side of base multiplied by height then you are always interested area under the curve so you hash that area so this we are interested in the area under the second order parabola what you observe here is that this area is more than the area of the triangle so naturally this area is more than half of bh this formula will work but for work for smaller areas less than triangle in general form. So if this area is there, this area is less than the hatch area. So you have to you can calculate this smaller area which is the degree equal to 2. So this is 1 by 3 base multiplied by height. Naturally the remaining area you can calculate as area of the rectangle that is bh minus the area of that figure is 1 by 3 bh. So this will be equal to 2 by 3 bh. So if you hash the area and area come out to be more than triangle it will be taken as 2 by 3 and if less than triangle it will be taken as 1 by 3 bh. Say for example this figure close in the rectangle hash the area that we are interested we are always interested area under the curve. This area as you observed is less than the triangle area. So this area is equals to 1 by third. If we come across this type of parabola which is a negative slope and increasing hash the area that you are interested. From clear observation this area is more than the triangle area you can confirm it. So this area will be 2 by 3 area. Likewise we can calculate area for the degree 3, degree 4, degree 5 every time the formula remains same. Even for this figure if you hash the area under the curve that area will be 1 by 3 because it is less than triangle area. So formula work fine but for smaller areas as I discussed with you if degree is 4 so that small area will be 1 by 5 and remaining will be 4 by 5. So two things we have covered just now. One is how to draw the slopes and how to calculate area. Now check some problem based on this one. So all these concepts will be applied in the problems. One by one discuss numericals. Okay, we will take the first problem in this series of SFD and BMD diagram. Let us consider that we have a simply supported beam and the load is placed exactly at center. That is A is equal to B. Let us take the value of P is equal to 100 kN. Normally in gate exam they will ask you the symmetrical loading question. The symmetrical loading question means that the load is symmetrical above both the supports. Now since because of symmetry we can say that the reaction at both ends will be divided equally. So this reaction will be equals to 50 kN and this reaction is also equals to 50 kN. So while constructing the shear force diagram you always start from the left hand side. Let this line represents the zero shear force line. Above this will mark the positive value and below this will mark negative value. So first of all we have point load and 50 newton kilonewton is taken as positive value. So you have to move upward by 50 kilonewton. Now from A to this point there is no load. So no area under the load diagram. So shear force remain constant. 
and will be positive value because previously is positive value suddenly there is a change of 100 kN so from 50 kN we are downward by 100 kN so this value will be equals to minus 50 kN again from the center point to the C there is no load so area under the load diagram so shear force remain constant and finally we close at 50 so this is 50 kN and this is minus 50 kN above area will be taken as positive below is taken as negative now we will construct BMD diagram so this one represents 0 BMD at to the left hand side there is no force acting and to the right hand side of C there is no force acting so there is no bending moment at point A and no bending moment at point C so first mark no bending moment at point A and zero bending moment at point C now in this first figure your shear force is constant shear force is constant and positive value so you have to draw a line with a positive slope and the area of this figure represents the change in the bending moment diagram positive slope line this one is also constant w but negative so we have negative line so it will close down to find out the value of the change in bending moment diagram the previous value was 0 this area was 50 multiplied by 2 that is 100 so 100 is to be added in 0 so this value will be 100 newton kilonewton meter let's consider a udl of load equal to 10 kilonewton per meter on the simply supported beam and let's say the length equal to 5 meter so total load acting is 50 kilonewton meter is again a symmetrical loading so 25 kilonewton and 25 kilonewton will be the reaction on each support and in this case udl is acting in downward direction so this is a shear force diagram 25 kilonewton is upward so it straight away move upward because it is a point load by 25 kilonewton now next calculation is based on the area very first thing is that we have n equal to 0 so now degree will become 1 in the shear force diagram now this value of w is acting downward and it's constant value so w is constant means we have a line and it's a negative value means we have to draw a line having negative slope so total area will be equals to 10 multiplied by 5 that is equal to 50 so this is vb minus va that is minus value so from 25 you have to subtract minus 50 so you left with minus 25 on the right side so minus 25 you can mark below zero line and you have to join 25 with minus 25 with a line equal to negative slope because w is constant and is negative so we have negative slope line naturally this line will cut at a zero shear force at l by 2 that is 2.5 meter this is about purely due to symmetry now where the shear force is zero naturally the bending moment is maximum in this figure your shear force is positive value but is decreasing so first of all it's a positive decreasing means we have a parabola and again there is no bending moment on the left side and right side this is a positive shear force decreasing so we have n equal to 2 that represents parabola but the parabola is such that it has a positive slope and the slope must be gone decreasing so only this parabola will represent the positive slope with the slope equal to decreasing this parabola is not possible because it is increasing slope now to calculate the change in bending moment here previous bending moment is 0 this area was equal to 1 by 2 25 multiplied by 2.5 so this value will be come out to be 31.25 now this area is same as 31.25 but negative area so there is a shear force here is negative but increasing so you have to draw a parabola with a negative slope and the slope is increasing so this parabola will you have to draw this parabola which has a slope increasing this parabola is not possible because it has a slope decreasing it's very simple to draw SFD and BMD just by using the concept of slope increasing or decreasing and so you can conclude from this figure that at the maximum point of 31.25 your dm by dx is 0 is equal to basically v so when v is 0 we can conclude that the bending moment is maximum but you have to change the sign of shear force remember this also so whenever the shear force will change the sign the bending moment is maximum that is the local maximum is true in the case of simply supported but is not true in the case of cantilever in the case of cantilever maximum bending moment always occurred at support